you hear the people sing, singing the song of Van Green Men? It is the music of the people who will not be slaves again. Kia Thank you for turning out on such a miserable day. Uh, we did think that doing a protest in the middle of winter did have a reasonably good chance of having this kind of effect. Um, but it's so great to see so many people who are so committed um, about this. I'm Jen Despar, spokesperson for It's Our Future Christchurch. We are just a very small, dedicated group of citizens who are working very hard to bring you these events. And of course, it is a whole movement across the whole country and across the whole Pacific Rim. Yes, you are part of a very large group of people all around the world who are very concerned about this deal. Um, so we are making our concerns clear to government and by marching in the streets it's becoming more and more difficult for them to pretend that this deal um, you know, is going to deliver benefits for New Zealand. So I want to thank you all again for coming out and we've got a few speakers before we march down to uh, Shan Crescent Reserve. Our first speaker is Donna Miles Mojab. Donna's a prolific writer and social commentator and regular readers of the press will be familiar with Donna's thought-provoking letters and articles on issues relating to justice, equality and human rights. And Donna's here to speak to us today as a concerned citizen. Please give her a warm welcome. Kia ora Christchurch. I really hope that there are, if there are any journalists, and I know there are, if there are journalists and reporters here amongst us today, that they will report on the resolve of the people of Christchurch to be here today despite this atrocious weather, despite the wet and damp. We are determined to defend our democracy, and that is why we are here today. I am so proud to be standing here amongst you today. Make no mistake, as Jen told us, this is not an ordinary protest. This is the beginning of a movement. It's a movement to defend our democracy, to protect our sovereignty, and to say no to foreign control and corporate power. In 1984, it was the anti-nuclear campaign that said no. 31 years on, we have gathered here today to once again assess our rights to self-determination and say no to TPPA. Yes, we are a small nation, but we are an independent and proud nation. It matters that our values, our way of life, and the social fabrics of our society are not broken by power and greed. Because in those dark days of disaster, in the aftermath of the terrible earthquakes that shook our city, it was not power and greed that pulled us through. It was our sense of community, our compassion for our human beings that mattered the most, and that is what we are protecting here today. This is a watershed moment in New Zealand's modern history. We are here as history makers. We are here today because our ability to keep our rivers clean, our food safe, our workers' rights and health system protected are under threat. TPPA is not about free trade. It's about protecting foreign investors' rights over and above the sovereign rights of our government to regulate in our interests. It's not about the rule of law. It's about the rule of corporate lawyers. The question on many people's mind is this. Why would our government sign us up to an agreement that is so harmful to our future? I ask you this. Why was sending our troops to Middle East in New Zealand long-term benefits? Is it spying on our neighboring nations on, a, on behalf of the Anglo-American spy club in New Zealand's long-term benefits? None of these things are about what's good for us. They are about serving the needs of global empires to expand their political influence and assert their economic dominance around the world. But 
we have learned much from our history and past sacrifices for imperialism. Never again shall New Zealand be asked to pay a high price for any empire without a single vote being cast. We have put too much of our trust into the hands of this government that has shown time and time again that they care little for the democratic process. Release the text of TPPA. We want more transparency and engagement. It's time for this government to start listening to the concerns of its citizens and stop ignoring the voices of our ordinary people, our parliamentary representatives, our medical professions, our legal experts, and our EV leaders. Christchurch, they have dismissed our elected ECAN members and they've taken over the rebuild of our city. They, they ignore us, they ignore us when we say no to spending $26 million of our taxpayers' money on a new flag while 300,000 of our children live in poverty. They ignore us when we say no to low emission targets, and they ignore us when we say no to secrecy and backroom deals. The arrogance shown by this government must stop. Like, any, like in any abusive relationship, we need to find the will and the courage to say enough is enough. Today, today we are finding that courage. We are standing up to this government and we are saying no to TPPA. Enough is enough. A short distance from where we are standing here today, a remarkable Kiwi lady is buried at Addington Cemetery. New Zealand was the first country to give the woman the vote and Kate Shepherd was the woman that led that fight. The fighting spirit of Kate Shepherd lives on in another remarkable Kiwi lady. You know who she is. She is the reason we are all here today. Professor Jane Kelsey is our tireless anti-TPPA protester. Everything, everything that she warned us about this deal is now gradually being confirmed by the government. Yes, the cost of medicine will go up. Yes, foreign corporations will be able to sue our government in offshore kangaroo courts. Yes, the gains for the dairy industry will be minimal and we know that the ability of the future governments to legislate in our interest will be limited. We do not want to swap our democracy for oligarchy and plutocracy. We do not want to be pushed to a petrifying point of no return. We do not want to participate in a global race to the bottom. We want to stay a democratic and independent nation where governments govern for the health and vitality of our nation, not for the prosperity of a few. We want to stay a democratic and independent nation. The long tentacles of giant global multinationals are reaching out for our shores. We know what TPPA will do to our country because we know what its previous version, NAFTA, did to the American, Canadian, and Mexican economies. We do not want growing poverty and hatred in this country. We do not want to live with violence and growing inequality. Mr. Key, we do not share your ambitions for New Zealand. We do not want New Zealand to be part of a club that brings millions misery, death, and destruction to the world. Once this deal, which is being negotiated in complete secrecy, is signed, neither our government, sorry, neither our parliament, nor the ordinary people of this country can reverse it. My fellow citizens, the threat is clear, and the time to act is now. 
Let's march together and let John Key, Tim Grosser, and the national governments know that despite, despite what they think, the people of this country shall never become politically irrelevant. TPPA, no way. When the beating of your heart echoes the beating of the drums, there is a life about to start and tomorrow comes.